that's it. That's it. Yeah. You see there we've got the push in connection connection that goes into the clay. Our band seals wouldn't fit over this clay, it's very big, so we've got to get another one of these. But when the flow's going that way, they, they work really well because it goes into the pipe. Oh, yeah. Once all that's done and it's prepped, we're going to get half a mix in just to get them brick and block in so we can actually get that concrete in when the time comes. And we're done. Four tonne of stone, insulation, and now it's got this end up so we're all ready for concrete. We're all on Tuesday, or Monday hopefully. Morning. Morning. We just took it into the rest of my bacon butty there. It leaves all the best bits, all the crispy bits. <laughs> but yeah, we made to have a where's your where's your coffee? There we are, we've been to uh, grab a cheeky coffee. We've had a fright Thursday since we're working on our third bank holiday on the trot. Yeah. So uh today's job is getting this slab prepped. But well, first job, get the new gully put in. Yes, yeah, so we've just we've just been to Tool Station to pick that up. Yeah. And then um Excuse me. First job, sun cream. And then, if you help, <sighs> cut that out. <coughs> and then, go just get this slab prepped up. Just uh, We made a bit of a start yesterday, just smashing up a few flags and just getting some uh, buckets of that MOT tossed in. But, excuse me, what's up with me today? Um, today we're gonna just get the rest of them flags smashed out, tossed in that skip, get the MOT in, get the sand in. Get it whackered, visqueen, song and dance. So, not much else to say but to take you over there. And there we are. So as you can see, we've made a bit of a start getting some flags up and there's a little bit of MOT thrown in. Just while uh, Dad was getting that gully sorted out last night, I uh, just made a bit of a start in here. So I'm going to continue with that. And then, oh yeah, once all that's done and it's prepped, we're going to get half a mix in just to get them brick and block in so we can actually get that concrete in when the time comes. So that's the battle plan for today. So we just need to get our heads stuck in. Pull our fingers out. Give give a few pets here and there. And let's go. There we go. Just a quick one. All sorted. Alex, just brush away that, that collar there for me, show it. The pushing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You see there we've got the pushing connection connection that goes into the clay. Our band seals wouldn't fit over this clay, it's very big, so we've got to get another one of these. But when the flow's going that way, they, they work really well. Because it goes into the pipe. Little bend. Straight coupler, another little bend. Nice, new, neat gully. No more flooding, because that thing was solid. <laughs> solid, and it had a crack in it. I think we cracked it when we've when the digger fell in, but it is what it is. New gully in now, worry-free drains. Gonna get this all back filled, so I've got a nice wide area to work at now. And uh, get this lot prepped.
bloody passes to you, hot potato. <laughs> Is it re recording? Yeah. Filming? Yeah. Cool. Right. It's nearly 10, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, We're almost there at 10. Yeah. This pipe's all packed up on the MOT now, so that's solid, going nowhere. I'm going to put some pipe bedding over that. Pipe bedding, 10 mil limestone, pea shingle, pea gravel, shingle, dingly dingle, jingle bells. Anything else comment? No, 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 not again. Anyway, yeah. So that's ready to go. <clears throat> We're going to work from that end, work our way back now. Alex has been filling the barrows, I've been taking the barrows and bringing barrows full of MOT back. So, drains in. This is all backfilled now, so we can work on this side. We've got a much wider area for coming in out with the barrows. That's our stone level. So, we're going to bring that through level now. Yeah, so once all this stuff's out, we're going to have a quick break and then uh, hit it again after break. So far, so good. No ibuprofens today, and the hip seems to be doing all right. So, I've done a few laps so far. So, we'll catch you after brew time. Just thought I'd show you the step real quickly. That uh, didn't take much. As soon as the top flags came off, it just crumbled to bits. And uh, of course, another Coke can. It's like a bloody archaeological dig, but instead of dinosaurs, it's Coke cans. But once that's out, that's all of the taking out of this uh, slab prepping. It's just uh, putting stuff in then. Yes. So I think probably about one or two more barrels will do that and then. Yeah. And we're ready to have a break and just whack this in. So that's the stone level, isn't it? Yeah. And then it's just a bit of sand. Yeah. Visqueen, insulation, visqueen. It's usual Concrete. No reinforcing. No reinforcing this time, no. The slab's 2.3 deep and the ground is solid. I'm not reinforcing it. It's not like uh, it's not like the previous extension. There's, this one's a lot more manageable. Yeah. Well, it is now. Yeah. <laughs> And he's now out of the ground. Yeah, but you saw the size of that other one, so that this one doesn't need the reinforcing. Anyway, let's uh next time you see us, it'll be after break. Welcome back. The step's gone. Whack is here ready. And now we're just burying in this stuff. Let's get you set up and just uh get this thrown in and whack it up.
there you have it. Four ton in. Ooh, not checked how far I've walked yet, but it's a long way. You see it's just dropping on the bricks there. That's ready for the sand blinding now. Bring it up level for our 100 mil of concrete. I'm gonna put a 100 mil insulation down there to um, bridge that cavity. And then our insulation goes over the top of that. And then the concrete's over the top of that. We're getting there. Good size room now, all the crap's out of it. See how big it is. So we're going to have a quick dinner now and then get it lined up after dinner and get it all prepped.
That has been a long day. Very long day, but as you can probably see around me, that's just getting the last little bit in, but this slab is ready. Well, we're just gonna do that last bit of visqueen, but we're doing that on, on the Tuesday or the Monday, depending when the concrete arrives. It's not the visqueen goes in the day we concrete. Yeah, because if it rains, we're not gushing it all out then, we can let the, the poly can absorb some of that, so. But. There's really good ground under there, and plenty of stone, so it'll just it, it, it'll dissipate and dump. Yeah. And there we go, and there's the your cold bridging as well, all the way across where it sticks out. So we've had, there's a lot done today. We've took all the all the um, flags out, all the all that crap. Got up, got four ton of stone moved in here, and that was just barely enough. And then uh, obviously, yeah, it was tight, wasn't it? Yeah. Now obviously get all this prepped with the sand and the visqueen and the wacker. We had to get this put in which I did while dad was doing the polystyrene so got the block work in and the brick works in all joined and sponged and we're also toothing into this all, the ones that, all those ones who bash Alex for just standing there and leave me doing all the brick work he's done all that while I've been over there doing the polystyrene but um, it's very tough stuff but we're going to tooth through it, well obviously you can yeah, hardly to layer, but it's going to make a difference instead of just having a big um, expansion joint in there. You can't put an expansion joint in because you need to set tires for an expansion joint. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it can't be an expansion joint anyway. Yeah, well there you go. Oh, but that is that. Is this going to be the end of this video? The, the prep? Um, we have got the concrete being a separate video or? The, the, the concrete slab prep and concrete is all one video. So. Right. Just see us back on the But there you go, there's one prepped slab. Next time you see us, it'll be to, uh, not tomorrow, it'll be Monday or Tuesday. And we'll be getting the the visqueen in and the concrete in. Let's bloody fingers crossed manifest that it doesn't bloody rain. Because we have a habit of it always rains when we go to do concrete of any kind. So. Fingers crossed, we'll see you when the we'll see you on concrete day. Sorry Zara, you gotta be quiet. Uh, as you can see, we've got the GoPro back. That feels a lot better. But um, we're all set. We've got the ramp set up as uh, sturdy as we can get it. Give it, give it, a, bounce, give it a bounce. It's got a little bit of a, got a little bit of bounce for the uh, for the barras. I was thinking we had the barra full of concrete is 18 stone apart. Yeah. And you've got an operative stone. There's, uh, there's my best friend. And what, as your best friend? What? what was your best friend? And as you can see, he's uh, showing us the sill's been cut back a bit with the yeah, been cut back with the grinder so we can get the concrete and really get the float in there now. And we're ready. We're gonna have a, probably one of the earliest breaks we've ever had now while we wait. And oh, and the laser's all set up as well. So and our little new method of putting the laser on the tamp. Alright, so we'll see you when the concrete arrives.
And there you have it. I think our friend approves. One nice concrete slab is in. So we're gonna let this go for a little bit before we tamp it. So in the meantime, we're gonna clean up all that sludge. And once that's all done, can have a finish, finish up the bloody brake is what I'm gonna do. And then tamp up all that, get it floated. And we've got places to be today. So we're gonna, we're gonna be buggering off after that. So tomorrow we'll be cracking on with that brickwork. I can see him. I can tell he just wants to just walk all over that, leave his footprints everywhere. I can see you. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. I see you looking. But yeah, so we'll uh, catch in a little bit once we've done our cleaning up and we'll be uh, getting this tamped in and floated. Another speed bump. Oh, I said get an extra barrel just in case. I thought now nah, I should be okay. Boom. Half a barrel short. So mad dash in the car to get some ballast. Bit of cement there. Because we have no van today, it's getting service in the motor. 